السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم یو ہوسٹ پینے شارزو ویلکم ٹو کریئر کیمپ اوکے یا جسٹ لائک یو سیٹ بفور دیٹ ابراڈ لائک ان بہرین اور امیرکا اور کینیڈا اسٹوڈنٹس ڈو اسٹارٹ ورکنگ پروفیشنلی وائل دے آر اسٹارٹنگ لائک ان دیئر سیکنڈ اور تھرڈ ایئر سو دے کین افورڈ دیئر فی اینڈ دے کین ایکچولی پے دا بلس بیکاز دے ڈو ہیو دے دے ڈونٹ ہیو اینی ادر آپشن سو وٹ ڈو یو تھنک دیٹ ہیئر ان پاکستان اٹس ویری ڈیئر اینڈ ٹو انلیس یو آر فرام اے پور بیک گراؤنڈ اینڈ یو ایکچولی ہیو ٹو یو نو سپورٹ یور فیملی ایز ویل ایز یور ایجوکیشنل فائنانسز you have to fill that uh, people don't start working while they are studying here so what do you think what, uh, should they actually you know start working while they are studying as you know it does give you a professional experience you know when uh, even when you are studying and you start working before uh, going into that particular field so what is your take on that once they go to us canada australia unless they are from a very millennial family back in Pakistan. They can manage funding themselves totally. It's fine. But uh, there the situation is quite different. If yeah. a middle uh, income family sends their children there, or children becomes uh, become rebel and say, no, I have to go to Australia no matter what. Mm. They end up in Australia. Now they have to work to fund themselves. They... Uh, now, what they learn here is they learn work lifestyle. They make those connections on the side. They pay taxes. They yeah. learn all that while they graduate in a new country. Now, here in Bahrain, for example, if many Bahraini nationals come and ask me, mm-hmm. I tell them you are a full-time student. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to work if you don't have to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, take your some time. Have a social life. Take you some time to get an A, study hard. Okay. You see, uh, go into sports, go into, you, achieve your hobbies, because these are the days when you can do all that. Yeah, that so is... So, live your dreams. Yeah, but don't waste your time, you know, uh, doing nothing. Do something which uh, is more productive, yeah. could be a hobby. It's okay if once in a week you are just sitting with friends and chatting, gossiping, that's fine, going for a movie, but that's equally important for that uh, okay. social life. Otherwise, people become so introvert yeah. that, uh, you know, they don't ace an interview. Yeah. Uh, so, their things are different once they migrate. They have to pay for themselves and they, have, they got to work. But if they are in Pakistan... Hmm. uh they don't need to do that they can just be a full time student and they for example if they are in an it degree mm-hmm. every 6 months to 1 year some new certification comes true right they can do that on the side mm. uh, a civil engineer can learn the latest version of autocad mm you see um so there are ways to make use of those extra time in the evenings if they are full time student so definitely i wouldn't recommend them to work if they don't want to work yeah that is correct uh, that they should you know uh, do something productive at least in their free time and leisure time is also very important for them uh, that is very correct my next question would be that uh, what uh, would your advice be to students uh, that uh, how can they choose their perfect field you know perfect career that they are passionate about how do you how do they recognize it that's a very good question vinish uh, thank you and what i see here is a lot of mental disturbance okay uh, i have seen um youngsters getting the job mm-hmm. after the university is done they got the job but for no reason they are not happy at all they got the job but they are not happy and if you ask them why aren't you happy they want to become a manager of the company immediately true yeah that is a global you know, so, i think yeah yeah I, and 
it's not possible right we don't know the mm. current managers struggle what they went through so we must get in enjoy that step by step journey there is a lot of mental worry and disturbance uh, and some things uh, since we are all adults here and we are talking about adult education in terms of uh, 18 uh, people are going to college who are grads um uh, i have seen uh, people who start their work and now because uh, they are engaged they to somebody they want to marry as soon as possible and there is lot of mental pressure mm. the girl tells the guy um if you can't do anything in one year my father is going to get me married somewhere else yeah and it's vice versa the mm. boy tells the girl you know whatever you want to study do it soon because i cannot give you more time to study you know you want to do your masters you all have you have just two years now imagine the pressure from both sides they are killing each other's dreams just because they want to get married as soon as possible or even when young couples they get married the boy at sometimes says uh no more education mm-hmm. you know stop it here uh sometimes the girl is not understanding the wife says uh sorry you can't do more education i need to see money coming in the house yeah true that is correct because people are actually being forced into things by different scenarios and different things and uh, they are you know forced into doing things they don't really want to so they sh- you're advising them to just slow down enjoy the moment and do it step by step thank you so much that is a very good advice okay so my final question from you would be uh, what is your advice to parents uh, that can make their uh, child's life more easier and convenient and maybe help them in their career um there are sometimes parents who want their uh, their two three fields yeah you know either my son daughter will be doctor or an engineer Cute. there shouldn't be any other choices so that <laughs> that <laughs> way of thinking must stop mm. you know uh yes we can promote that idea it's a good idea but today there are many fields which are paying much more okay uh for example few years back we never thought there would be cfa certification chartered financial analyst which pays much higher there are certifications in risk management in real estate who are paid much higher true you see so uh today we are in the age of chat gpt programmers are paid much higher higher than the engineers uh, yeah engineer game developers are yeah. paid much higher that is true. so it's good parents push their children towards um medical field engineering field but to a certain uh, point they should pull out their hands and see what the child also wants to do because if the child is already 18 and has a conversation with people instead what parents can do is take them to a consultancy watch videos like what you are doing today okay. you know so uh, tell them to go to one or two counselors take a second opinion true um uh, yeah do some st- uh, uh, research on current statistics and then uh if the child is still happy to go and do what they want to do then it's absolutely fine uh i know one case where the child was forced to become an engineer in the first year and he wanted a degree in sports and nutrition oh and the parents were like you will waste your time he dropped out within two semesters finally parents gave up you know that was not his passion true it was not his passion he didn't want to do that he went in sports and nutrition and he's very happy and his plan is to open a very huge gym in future good luck to him <laughs> yeah good luck to him yeah so uh, parents must push them to a certain point because letting them all lose is also not a good idea yeah true uh, definitely uh, parents can push them to 
become a doctor, become an engineer, but once they see it's not working, just stop them, don't confuse them. Uh, keep a watch and let them choose what they want to excel in. That would be better. Yeah, I, that doesn't mean that if the son says, I want to become a mafia, okay, fine, go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, and one final message from you, a short message to everyone generally watching this video. What would you like to uh, say, say to them? I, I, I would just say that including myself and all of us, we all must take a step at a time. Uh, nobody's getting out alive anyway. <laughs> so just take a step at a time. Give your best in whatever you do. Um, enjoy this journey and when something comes your way try to give your best to that opportunity for now you can have more desires but that's fine give your best to what's in front of you at this time okay so thank you so much for this interview it was a an, uh, a privilege to talk to you on these topics it was very motivating and even i feel very motivated after our conversation so i hope that kids can learn a true lesson lesson from this conversation and they can actually uh, it may help them choose the best career possible according to their passion and they do learn uh, how to you know manage their personal life and career life uh, so thank you so much for this i hope that if anyone wants to ask something about uh, you know these topics or education system uh, generally they can uh, ask us and we will ask you in return and we will get back to them with the response so thank you so much mm -hmm. for this opportunity uh, i do hope that we do make this world a better place together thank you definitely inshallah we will inshallah. and we are Thanks a lot, Willing Shen. You take care. Hello to all your friends whom I met back in Karachi. Yeah, yeah bye. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have this video and that you have a message that you have to tell us about their educational experience and globally, you know, when you go outside or to a different place, your experience is different. And you have a lot of fresh mind and fresh advices that you have to discuss with you. So, I hope that you have a different perspective in these points. So, if you have किसी भी चीज के बारे में पूछना होगा यू कैन कमेंट बिलो और ईमेल अस वी विल होपफुली गेट बैक टू यू सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो आल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन सो यू कैन गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशंस टेल नेक्स्ट वीडियो अल्लाह फेस बाय